My name is Ness Matthew Dacus. I'm an endocrinologist at Johns Hopkins Hospital and clinical director of the Division of Endocrinology, Diabetes, and Metabolism. Endocrinologists uh, diagnose and treat uh, conditions related to hormonal imbalances in the body, uh, whether um, hormone levels are too high or too low. The goal is really to restore uh, normal uh, hormone levels. So, um, hormones are produced by multiple glands throughout the body. Um, some examples are the pituitary gland, which is the master endocrine gland, the thyroid, parathyroid glands, adrenal, um, and the, the pancreas, which makes uh, an important hormone, insulin. And that's my um, particular area of expertise within endocrinology, that's diabetes. I um, really see myself as an advocate for my patients. I, I, I think um, patients should take a, a really uh, front and center role in their, in their care. And really, um, there are a lot of therapeutic options available in endocrinology, but choosing the one that um, best fits a patient um, for their medical conditions and their lifestyle um, requires a, a, a frank discussion. So I, I like to have a, a very open dialogue with, uh, with my patients and um, I'm there to really provide information and ultimately guide them in, in selecting the right uh, choice for themselves. My research um, focuses on uh, two patient populations with diabetes that are at really high risk of adverse outcomes. Um, so my work is really um, focused on improving the safety and quality of care for these patients. The first group is hospitalized patients uh, with diabetes, and the second is patients with diabetic foot ulcers. So in terms of um, hospitalized patients, uh, it turns out that one in four uh, patients in the United States uh, that's hospitalized has diabetes or high blood glucose and insulin is the recommended therapy for the majority of these patients. My research is really focused on trying to identify those patients that are at highest risk of having a low blood sugar uh, from insulin therapy and intervening before it happens. To do this, um, I use machine learning, which is a form of artificial intelligence, where we look at millions of blood glucose observations and other uh, clinical data points from hospital, uh, hospitalized patients to develop a prediction model uh, that, that will actually flag a person who's going to go low in the next 24 hours, with the goal being that we would notify the healthcare uh, provider. In the uh, diabetic foot ulcer uh, realm, I've, um, the reason I got interested in that is that I've been a member of the Di Johns Hopkins Multidisciplinary Diabetic Foot and Wound Clinic since 2012. And this was really established to try to create um, coordinated care for patients with diabetic foot ulcers. I work with a wonderful team of uh, vascular surgeon, uh, surgical podiatrist, a wound care nurse, and a diabetes nurse practitioner to provide sort of a one-stop shop for patients with uh, diabetic foot ulcers. And we've had really impressive outcomes in terms of um, wound healing, diabetes control, and prevention of major amputations. My particular um, research question in this area is what role blood glucose control has in clinical outcomes in patients with uh, established diabetic foot ulcers. Um, it's been really well established that um, poor blood glucose control over a long period of time leads to nerve damage in the legs and poor circulation, which are the risk factors for the ulcer developing. But what's been less studied and what's less understood is once you have an ulcer, what role does blood glucose control have on outcomes? I chose endocrinology for several reasons. Uh, first, um, endocrine conditions can be somewhat uh, difficult to diagnose and a lot of patients have seen multiple uh, specialists um, trying to get an answer for what's uh, causing their symptoms and it's very rewarding to be the person to actually identify the condition that um, it, it really explains things and more importantly to be able to, to treat them. Uh, so that's one. And another reason is that most endocrine conditions are uh, treatable. Uh, we have hormones to replace uh, deficiencies if people are lacking hormones and we have medical, surgical, or other treatments if uh, hormone levels are too high. Um, I also like the fact that for diabetes, there are non-medical treatments that, uh, that are very effective at controlling blood glucose. So uh, diet, physical activity, and weight loss, and uh, really uh, working with patients and their families uh, to be an advocate and a, and a health coach for them is, is very rewarding for me. And um, 
it, it's always great to see a patient actually uh, make changes in their lifestyle and come back and see you know dramatic reductions in their A1C, which will uh, hopefully prevent complications in the long term. Mm -hmm.